Just like a large percentage of the opposition leadership, the Wipa boss has openly spoken on the need to amend the constitution. Kalonzo is adamant that the present constitutional order requires transformation, especially by altering the executive structure. We are a nation of 42 nationalities, <laughs> 42 nations living at one, actually 43 now, because even the Asian community in the country have, have, have been uh, able to attain some kind of status. And therefore, if you have a winner takes all situation in Africa, I think this is militating against democracy. His sentiments resonating well with those of Baringo Senator and Kanu Chairman Gideon Moy. Tunataka to tegneze katiba amba kila miaka tano kifika si lasma Kenya inaenda karibu yingie civil war. And you want a country of inclusivity. The former vice president said the country stands to benefit greatly if competing parties are accommodated in leadership. Imagine I was Raila Odinga's uh, competitor in 2007, but I've chosen in 2013 and 2017 to be his running man, perchance to bring the country together and slay the dragon of tribalism. That is what is eating Kenya and I believe whole countries in Africa. The Baringo senator says there is no better time to ring changes to the constitution than now. Sasa opportunity imefika to rekebishe. Wanainchi wana umia. To rekebishe. The wage bill is too high. Kalonzo is however opposed to plans to get rid of the Senate as has been suggested by a number of leaders. If you ask me personally, anybody wanting to say scrap the Senate, I would disagree. If anything, strengthen the Senate, make it the upper house, because that's where you have serious debates taking place at the level of the Senate. His sentiments receiving the backing of wiper leaders such as Mbakasi South MP Julius Mawadi. Speaking as he commissioned classrooms in Kwanjenga Primary School in Nairobi, Mawadi called for a bipartisan approach to the constitution review process. <laughs> Tumeshikana, hakuna mlengo wa wote, siku hizi, baada ya kushikana, kushikamana, hakuna mtu wa kushoto na mtu wa kulia. Already the third way alliance claims it has managed to collect slightly above half a million signatures to try and force a constitutional referendum through a popular vote with a move to cut down on elective positions that the El Kuro court party says was galloping billions of shillings, burdening the struggling Kenyan taxpayer. Eric Biagon reporting for Channel One News.